I don't remember those characters too much. What's a mistake? I just forgot about them. Those guys again. Got full life. If I'm mistaken, they should have, um, I think that they had, a, you know, like, Burger King, McDonald's type of little toys, like Happy Meal type toys, or Darkwing Duck involved with it. I think they had something like that for a while. Great character design for like an 8-bit system. Fantastic character design. Gotcha. A job well done. Kind of reminds me of uh, Earthworm Gems with the cows when you pass the level. I think it's on part two. The cows are like, well done. launch pads there so you could tell that uh, and also to Darkwing Duck um, was also a very original character um, there was nothing like him in the 70s or 60s created by uh, the original animators that were with um, in the era with uh, Walt Disney but um, you can tell that the inspiration came from uh, uh, Donald you know, it's basically, if you think about it, it's basically Donald uh, with a little slightly more, I think Darkwing has more of an elongated head, slender head, different body structure. So it could fit his cap, his cap could fit on like a tube. And uh, basically this is Donald with a cape and a, and a hat, you know, a different voice. But you can tell that the animators had a lot of passion for what they were doing.
Shot that guy down. I'm dying. <laughs> Terminator. You know, we don't just we just don't have that type of uh, same uh, passion for animation as they did back in the 20th century. Um, everything's mostly CGI, which is like you know, don't get me wrong, it's all good. I think that the the Juggernauts are Pixar since Pixar was the first one to come up with Toy Story and uh, and um, and all the other classic uh, 3D animation films, Frozen. And a bug's life, you know, who can forget that? Um, but uh, animation has its perks and its charm also, too. I think that Pixar's film, um, Inside Out, I think it's called, or if, uh, well, I might be wrong, but. Um, I think that that film is actually very uh, well written and very ingeniously well written and the characters are they're made out of um, the figment particles of the imagination of the girl or the or whatever character is in the movie because you could I could I haven't seen the movie but I can tell uh, up close when you see the poster that the characters um, or at least when you see them like online or just uh, up close on merchandise or whatever that they're made up of the particles of the imagination like they're not solid they're they're manifestations of the mind created you know you can tell they're a particle creation you know now this guy was a real ingeniously well designed character too shall be victorious we have the nice transition typical 8-bit transition purple with blue with a little lines in between to signify transitioning and just like Mega Man he's riding off in the distance or the beginning of Mega Man he's on a train but either way this was a fun game. I loved it. Grew up with Darkwing Duck. Grew up with the toys. <laughs> the end. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this gameplay of Disney's Darkwing Duck for the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. I enjoyed playing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for my other videos. And be enlightened and look at my other um, technical, mathematical ideas and things like that. Thank you very much. Ricky Cespedes. God bless.